Now for this question then, we're given that y equals 8x cubed minus 4 root x plus all of 3x squared plus 2 divided by x. And x has to be greater than 0, and we've got to find dy by dx. Remember, x has got to be greater than 0 because you certainly can't have it equal to 0 because you can't divide by 0. You get an undefined result. And it has to be greater than 0 as well here because you can't take the square root of a negative number. OK, so how do we go about finding dy by dx? Well, first of all, we've got to get all of these terms into the form ax to the power n, terms like this. And that means changing this one and this term. So let's just say that this equals, first of all, the 8x cubed. That term's OK at the moment. But for 4 root x, you should know that the square root of x can be written as x to the power half, a basic indices rule. OK, you can check out indices on my website if you're unsure about those rules. Now, for this term here, certainly don't make the mistake of differentiating the top and dividing it by the differential at the bottom. You can't do that. What we can do is think of this as plus 3x squared divided by the x, because this is a single term here, plus 2 divided by the x. But it's still not in the right form yet. Okay, We've got to modify these two terms. So let's just put equals again copy down the 8x cubed and the minus 4x to the power half. This term though, we can cancel out the x into the x squared and just get 3x. And for this one, we've got 2 times 1 over x. And 1 over x can be written as x to the power minus 1. So again, if you're unsure of indices like this, negative power indices, then again you can see tutorials on my website on this. OK, so we now have each of the four terms in the right format. So we can go ahead now and differentiate. So therefore, if we differentiate y with respect to x, we've got dy by dx equals. And in the usual way, for x to the power n, what we do is multiply the value in the front by the power and then subtract one from the power. So for this one, we've got 3 times 8, which is 24. Subtract 1 from the power, and you've got x to the power 2, or x squared. For the next one, we've got half times the minus 4, so that's going to be minus 2. Subtract 1 from the power, and you've got x to the power minus a half. For this one, ax type terms, you just end up with the constant, so this will be plus 3. And for this one, we do minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2. Subtract 1 from the power, so that would be x to the power minus 2. Now, you could leave it like that, or you could carry on and just simplify it further. We've got this term's OK, that's 24x squared. But when it comes to minus 2x to the power minus a half, we can think of this as minus 2 being multiplied by 1 over x to the power half, or simply 2 over x to the power half. Or even 2 over the square root of x, because that's what x to the power half is. Then we just got the 3. And when it comes to minus 2x to the minus 2, think of x to the minus 2 as 1 over x squared. And if you multiply it by the minus 2, you get minus 2 over x squared. So there's an alternative form then for this particular form. All right, so that's dy by dx for you.